welcome back friends uh, in this class we are going to discuss about a very important feature of uh, jQuery it is called jQuery UI date picker function how we can just uh, create a date picker so this is just uh, the main I've just created a main ID here so you can see the width the height background color margin padding floor left and you can see this the output uh, launching Chrome and you can see this the output this output i'm just going to zoom this and here inside the this div we are going to create input tag input the type is equal to you can just say text text and here inside this we are going to create a class or id i'm just creating id here because uh, we are going to use two input here that's why I'm just creating ID uh, for this one so we can just give the name for example that that picker that picker is okay so you need to just come here inside this and you can just save this for once and refresh so you have just you can see you have just uh, input uh, text field here just click inside this nothing will happen just come inside your jQuery and we are just going to write a single line of code and here inside this single quotation we are going to select uh, with hash that picker and here also we are in the function that p i c k e r that picker control s now you can just come here and refresh click inside this so you can see i'm just going to zoom this out and you can see, click on inside this refresh click you can see we have a calendar here from here you can just go on next month june july august and you can just come back from here you can see and this with the black color you can see this just showing this today date is four and uh, the may is just the month is may and the year is 2017 you can just select this from here now you can see five for 2017 uh, so you can see easily uh, with just uh, with a single line of code you can just create a date picker inside jQuery so you can just uh, create uh, for example for right now I'm just going to refresh this when you are clicking inside this text field so it is just in uh, fed in style you can see it is just appearing from the top to down you can see just in this style fading in so you can just uh, use uh, some more functionality inside this for example you can say for example what can yes we are going to use here show animate it means a n i m and inside the single quotation you are just writing here slide and you can just save this now come here refresh now you can see it is just coming from the left side once again so if you are just uh, if you go and make this command for once refresh now it is just coming from the top you can see and by using this function or attribute control s you can see that it is just sliding from the left you can see and you can just uh, give duration for this for using next attribute we are using comma here and uh, you can just write here duration d u r a t i o n and inside the single creation only you can use slow for this you can just order here that it should come in slow motion you can see it is in slow so after this you can just use here a date format you can just create just put a comma for using net attribute so we are using here just a date uh, format make sure the second word f starting one should be capital and just put a comma here colon and inside the single quotation for example you are just writing here d for day m for month and y for year so you are just selecting the date format from here you can see select this this the date this the month this the year so you can just select like this so there are just uh, many of just uh, selecting date format 
for example you can just select a uh, day at first or month at first year at first so you can just i'm going to select month then date uh, day no, uh, sorry not date and just refresh now you can see month day and year so in case if you are just writing here uh, instead of this just double m in single letter control s uh, so you can see what happened select the date so you can see you have zero it means uh, 5 4 2017 you have a zero with 5 the same thing you can just put double d control s and refresh select so you can see 5 4 2017 so one one thing i want to just make clear here for you that uh, whenever using using uh, just uh, date format date format in small small letter uh, it will provide it will provide you date in numerical values es so whenever you are using uh, you are using date format in a small letter it will provide you date in numerical values that you have used here for example double m in a small letter double d in a small letter and y so you can see this uh, that is the result refresh you can select any date so you can see 5 4 2017 so this called numerical values but in case if you are using here for example double m in capital letter with double D you can see now you can check the result come here and refresh so you can just select the date you can see Thursday May 2017 and for for getting complete result for the year you are just writing here double Y not in capital letter we are using in small letter control s now you can come here and refresh you can just select this now you can say may thursday 2017 and you can just use here for example you have just used double m and you can just use double m in single letter also just put a comma here control s and now you can just include numerical value also inside this so you can see 5 may thursday 2017 so you can just uh, after all these you can just select uh, uh for example what can you do you have just uh, used here dead format so there was some more uh yes you can just come here for example you want to just uh, you want another text field as i told that we are going to use two input tag so i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and just change the name of id for example date picker 2 is the name so you can just come here and insert a comma just come down and you are just writing here a r t it means alternate f o r m a t f should be written in capital letter and just put a comma here and you can just write here inside the single quotation you are going to select this one date picker 2 for id we are using hash and date picker 2 you can just save this now you can come here and refresh select any date so you can see may it should be appear here also so for getting result add date picker 2 and uh, Dead picker two, and we are just going to use here. You can save and refresh. Yeah, just click on this. So it is not giving us result here. What is the matter? What is the matter? Dead picker two, LT format, T field. We are not using here lt format we are using i think field f i e l d field yes control s because we are using lt format for getting uh, just separate result in both of this field now you can just select a date so you can see here is also meters day 
2017 and here also if you want to just get a uh, date uh, result in numerical value inside this one and in alphabetical value inside this so you can just use here a comma and we are just using here alt format here format for getting separate result inside the single quotation you can just define for example double d and double d in single letter you can say m and double y and here you are just going to write something for example double m double d or you can say at first double d double m and you can say double y control s come here and refresh now you can select the date any date for example this one 25 may to the so you can see this one is just showing a uh, date in numerical values and this one is showing just in both numerical and alphabetical values because you have just used here double d also if you don't want so you can just remove this control s and refresh now you can select 25 again so you can see alphabetical one numerical one so this was about how we can create a date picker inside the jQuery. just you can see just with a single lines of code and i hope that uh, this just clear for you you have understand how to create a date picker so till next video have a nice time and see you